NBC5 News Pinpoint Weather is brought to you by Bymart. Welcome back, everyone. Well, as you can tell right behind me, we have a lot going on weather-wise. We've got a weather system coming in overnight that we're going to continue to see into Sunday as well as into Monday morning, which is why we have all of these colors on this map. I'm going to step out of the way so that you can see the details on here. You can see right here, the first one is that winter weather advisory. I do want to note we do have a couple of them that are overlapping on top of each other. So for the winter weather advisory, it's actually everything in that purple shaded area. Now this is going Saturday night into early Monday morning. It's actually 10 p.m. when it's starting to be specific and we're going to see it go until early Monday morning, right around 4 a.m. Above 2,000 feet is where we're going to see the most snowfall for these areas, as you can tell right there. Sunday into Monday morning, we are expecting the heaviest snowfall for early tomorrow morning, so something to keep in mind right there. We also have a high wind warning. Now, that's everything in the yellow shaded area, right down the right-hand side of your screen, and now we could potentially see wind gusts in these areas up to 60 miles per hour, and that's going to go from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. for tomorrow on Sunday. Sunday. All right, let's take a look at our temperatures from today. Low and high temperature out of the Medford Airport. It was 36 and 56 degrees. That's pretty close to average this time of year. We normally see 34 and 55. Our sunset time for this evening It's going to be 547 p.m. Low temperatures from today. We've got east of the Cascades looking at a few teens in there. We're looking at 19 out of Klamath Falls. Started off in the upper 20s for Lakeview for today, but otherwise 36 is where we started off for Medford. 40 in Grants Pass and low 40s for the coastal cities. Here's the high temperatures from today. We do have mainly 50s on this map is what we saw for the highest temperatures of the day. A couple of low 60s, however, are on this map as well. You can see 61 out of Roseburg as well as 60 down towards Mount Shasta City, upper 40s for the city of Brookings for today. Take a look at our temperatures right now. It's 51 in Doris. We're looking at 56 in Medford. It's 29 in Crater Lake, looking at mainly upper 40s for the coastal cities as of this afternoon. We're taking a look at the temperatures right now across the country. We've got a couple of upper 70s on this map towards the bottom of your screen, but otherwise we're looking at mainly 60s for California. It's 56 right here in Medford, Oregon, and we are looking at mid 40s up towards Seattle, Washington. Wind speeds right now. We are looking at some gusty winds in the forecast. We are looking at 21 mile per hour winds right now for Klamath Falls. It's 18 for Lakeview and 13 mile per hour winds out of Alturas. Precip level since midnight. There's not a lot to report on this map. Again, that weather system, it is going to be rolling in overnight as well as into tomorrow on Sunday as well as into Monday. All right, now I have this on the 24 hour loop. This is our pinpoint forecast, what we're looking at for tomorrow. Now, as you can tell right here, the bulk of the snowfall, it's going to be towards east of the Cascades in certain elevations for the Rogue Valley area. We might even see a dusting for the Rogue Valley area for tomorrow, early tomorrow morning especially. But otherwise, our coastal cities, it is mainly going to be a lot of rainfall in there. You can see it's going to stay mainly green, and we're going to look at that rain-snow mix right towards the middle of that map right there. Here's the coastal cities. What we're looking at for tonight, rain showers are likely to finish off the rest of the night for tomorrow. Some rain-snow showers are possible. We're looking at snow level at 600 feet. We're looking at 45 at Abandon and 44 for the city of Brooklyn and 41 down towards Crescent City. Here's the West Valleys. We are looking at two to three inches possible for snowfall in terms of the rain snow showers that we're looking at for the rest of the evening. For tomorrow, we are going to see some rain snow showers possible as well. Two to three inches are possible once again, but otherwise low 40s in the forecast as well as upper 30s down towards Mount Shasta City in Northern California. East of the Cascades, two to three inches are possible throughout the this evening, as well as for early tomorrow morning, we are looking at snow showers in the forecast. Again, wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. We are having that high wind warning in the forecast that could potentially give us some gusty winds. Take a look right here, the seven day forecast. This is what we're looking at. Again, that weather system is really only going to be Sunday into Monday morning. So as you can tell, we are looking at clearer weather towards the end of this next work week, mainly Tuesday into this next work week as well. Klamath Basin, you can see snow is likely on Monday. We're going to see some rain snow in the forecast once again for tomorrow on Sunday. Low 30s is what we're looking at over the next few days. We're going to bump into the low 40s towards next weekend. Mount Shasta City, we're looking at snow on Monday, some rain snow on Sunday. 30s into 40s, Monday into Tuesday. But for the coastal cities, showers are likely for tomorrow on Sunday.